वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एवरीवन दिस इज विक्रम एंड दैट इज द ऑल न्यू महिंद्रा थ्री एक्सो टी जी डी आई टी जी डी आई इज एक्चुअली द परफॉर्मेंस वेरियंट ऑफ द थ्री एक्सो एंड दिस इज द की ऑफ द कार सो लेट इज क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज दिस इज द की ऑफ द कार जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर महिंद्रा की नथिंग डिफरेंट एंड इट फील्स नाइस टू होल्ड रियली एंड The car looks fantastic in this dazzling red finishing. Coming to the front aspect of the car, totally revised from the previous gen three uh, double O. I wouldn't say it is nice or it is not nice because design is completely polarizing. Few people like it, few people don't like it. I personally feel this looks futuristic. So coming to the front aspect of the car, it looks like an EV right now. And for better breathability, we have opening. and as you can see the radiator is exposed so that uh, you know it gets better air and uh, coming to the headlights we have projector set up for the primary headlamp and this is the fog lamp of the car which is uh, an led and over here we have an led drl and this thing doubles up as an indicator usually it works as a drl but whenever uh, you turn the indicator on this thing works as an indicator so coming to this region as you can see we have a parking sensor we have two parking sensors in the front of the car which really help you a lot at times they irritate you a lot and on the lower half of the bumper it is completely finished in black and we have a small edged chrome uh, you know strip over there as you can see nothing interesting in the underbody of the car so coming to the side aspect of the car it looks kind of similar to the 3w but you know this has that floating roof appearance because of you know that black colored roof and uh, black colored pillars coming to the tires 21555 r17 17 inch wheels on a sub 4 meter suv is something really interesting and as you can see the alloy design is kind of different it is uh, more focused towards aerodynamics if you see from this aspect openings are not huge so this thing uh, kind of helps in aerodynamics and coming to the rear tire exactly same size tire and everything is same but the disc is smaller this car gets four wheel disc brakes which is a very nice touch you can see the exposed suspension and all that and coming to the rear you have that big long led strip and the rear is completely revised we have a big mahindra logo over here and xuv 3xo badging over here and uh, ax7 this is not the top of the line variant top of the line comes with ax7l a small l written over here and uh, that is it about the rear the tail lamps are not all leds uh, this brake lamp is a normal halogen and even the indicator is a halogen so apart from that uh, actually everything is new in the rear nothing is similar to the 3w as you can see the entire rear bumper is finished in black color 3w used to have a kind of half body colored and half uh, black colored bumper i somehow uh, you know i am not a big fan of uh, all black bumpers but that is how it is we have two parking sensors in the rear and reflectors rear parking camera above the number plate and as you can see the tires look huge for a sub 4 meter suv tires look really big and you have that uh, you know diffuser sort of treatment in the lower half of the bumper and underbody can't be clearly seen from here and uh, the other side as well looks exactly similar apart from the fuel lid of the car and we have a tgdi badging over here uh, turbo gdi stands for gasoline direct injection it is a petrol automatic so automatic written over here so that is pretty much about the exterior of the 3xo uh please do let me know if you like the design or not in the comment section below and let me quickly get into the car this car has a request sensor only on the driver side door not on the co-passenger side door cost cutting and uh, as you can see the door feels really premium because this is soft touch material this is leather uh, sort of finishing soft touch material and we have double stitching over here very premium appeal and let me quickly get into the car you can see the cabin really feels very very airy because of you know light or pale colored interiors and this huge panoramic sunroof so the cabin actually feels very 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 premium and the legroom and knee room are really impressive but the under thigh support is not so good not as good as the 3w that is kind of uh, you know lacking in this car 
Apart from that, everything feels so good. The interior really feels very premium because of this, uh, you know, leather sort of finishing all over the place and uh, uh, this sunroof is my favorite aspect. But the issue with this uh, interior is, this is a brand new car, just 1700 kilometers and you can see a lot of dirt over here. This thing is a dirt magnet, if you can see that. So being kind of white, this is not pure white, this is kind of pale beige color. But whatever it is, it is a light color. So it kind of grabs a lot of, uh, you know, dirt. So you need to be careful with that. Let me quickly get into the driver's seat because that is where the actual fun lies. Before that, I'll show you guys the boot of the car. So guys, uh, let me open the boot. Uh, it is a bit of an effort to find the button. It is kind of hidden and small, if you can see that. So the boot is 360 liters, not very big, but definitely bigger than the 3W's boot. 3W used to get a smaller boot. So this thing has a hook over here. It says max 5 kgs if you can see that. And even on this side and a lot of attention to detail. We have a proper light over here if you can see that. So those bits kind of make this car feels even more premium. So let me get into the driver's seat of the car because as I said that is where the actual fun lies. Before that as you can see even this is very premium. Uh, the material is very, very, very nice. I'm in love with it. And we have piano black finishing almost everywhere in the car. That is, again, a fingerprint magnet. So you got to be careful with it. And But it adds up to a lot of premium uh, feeling. And over here, we have a Hildesen control start-stop system, which is the ugliest feature. And you can turn the parking sensors off. So we don't get any electric edges for the seats. So guys, coming to the interior of the car, as you can see, the dashboard as well looks very premium and all this is soft touch material. This is not plastic and it's got uh, this double stitching. This really feels premium. And over here, we have a 10.25 inch screen. Even this screen is a 10.25 inch unit. First, I'll talk about this. This has got a lot of information. You can even change the, uh, you know, uh, cluster layout. It's got uh, three modes for the cluster layout and you you can even have navigation in the main screen so that is very very nice you have three modes for the cluster normal minimal and information my favorite is definitely the normal mode because the other two modes doesn't have tachometer in it so coming to the buttons these buttons help you to operate this cluster and uh, these are for the cruise control obviously and on the left side of the steering wheel we have buttons to operate this infotainment system which is again a 10.25 inch unit this comes with a harman kardon audio system beautiful audio system it's very slick to use it is very smooth no lag whatsoever this thing has got a lot of features like wireless apple carplay android auto and all that stuff and uh, the navigation in this is very crisp even the reverse parking camera of the car it is very nice. The quality of the camera is really, really very nice. It comes with adaptive guidelines. If you can see that, the blue line kind of moves along with the steering wheel. And uh, coming to the center console of the car, two AC vents, very symmetric design. And my other favorite thing about this system is, this has got physical buttons. Physical buttons these days is really a good thing. It kind of feels good to have, uh, you know, this click feel and these rotary volume buttons. That is very nice. So here we have multiple buttons. This is for the front defogger of the car. And you know, this kind of defogs the front windshield. And over here we have, uh, you know, indicator if uh, the passenger airbag is turned on or off, which can be done over there. And uh, this is to turn off the traction control of the car. And this is for the drive mode selector. As you can see, this has three drive modes zip zap and zoom whenever you get into the zoom mode which is the topmost uh, or the most performing mode the cluster layout changes that kind of gets sporty and then over here we have controls for the ac this car has got dual zone automatic climate control air conditioner which is a very nice thing and over here we have a 65 watt output type c uh, port and a normal regular usb charging socket over here we have uh, a wireless charging pad which is again a very nice touch and uh, you have a Mahindra logo over here amazing attention to detail and uh, the most satisfying part is I get to peel these plastics off and over here 
we have uh, the regular gear selector of the car and this is the shift lock button so it doesn't get paddle shifters but it gets this uh, you know tiptronic function so you can get into manual mode from the for the gearbox over here and uh, that is about the center console all this has uh, this beautiful piano black finishing which is again a fingerprint magnet over here you have manual uh, handbrake but the higher variant gets a, an electric parking brake and this is actually you know a cubby hole or a storage cabin and it says key over here that is where you should uh, put your key so that you won't lose it and then my favorite feature about the car is this sunroof it is a huge panoramic sunroof and this thing really has a, a good uh, feature in it usually cars come only with this button which is uh, you know useful to open or close the sunroof but this thing has a dedicated button to open and close the sun blind so these button this is to close the sun blind and this is to open the sun blind usually even the sun blind com function comes in the primary you know sunroof button as you can see it it kind of opens wide and that brings in a lot of airy feeling into the cabin so that is kind of cool usually uh, cars with panoramic sunroof comes with uh, you know the sun blind close and open function in the primary button itself but this has got dedicated buttons which is a very nice thing so that you won't lose your concentration while driving so coming to the dashboard as i said all soft touch material which is very premium and we have piano black finishing over here as well the 3w has a phone holder or a cubby hole over here that is kind of more practical but this looks great and the glove box is deep it is very deep and it has got light as well as cooling function so it is a cool glove box you can put your snacks or whatever it is it is a cool glove box and it is as deep as my hand so that is pretty much about the interior and exterior of the car uh the interior is definitely my favorite about the exterior you guys need to comment and let me quickly get driving because that is where the actual fun of this car lies so guys i'm currently sitting in the driving seat of the 3xo tgdi we are in zoom mode which is the top most driving mode and uh, traction disengage into drive mode left foot on the brake right foot on the throttle this car revs only till 2900 rpm in idle that is because of the soft limiter off we go so that is how torquey the car is as you can see the uh, the car is very torquey and the tires literally scream for traction these are 17 inch wheels even though the tires are literally shouting for traction that is how uh, you know the punchy the car is during the launch but there is some amount of turbo lag initially like at the initial end of the rev range there is definitely some amount of turbo lag i wouldn't say it is very 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 peppy but once the turbo charges pulls in like around 2000 rpm this thing starts flying you know this thing literally takes off at uh, 2000 rpm no matter which gear you are in no matter what speed you are in once you cross 2000 rpm this thing feels crazy fast so i wouldn't say this car is actually fast but it feels fast that is because of the torque all that torque comes down in such a way that it makes you feel you're going at some fantastic speeds and uh, coming to the engine specs this car runs on a 1.2 liter three cylinder turbo petrol engine but it doesn't feel like a three cylinder whatsoever the refinement is crazy i initially thought this would be kind of jerky or there there would be a lot of vibes in the engine but nothing like that the engine is very smooth very refined and very torquey it feels like as you can see it revs all the way till 5000 rpm but it would be great if uh, you know the revs go a little beyond 5000 rpm but i think i can do that with manual mode it is in third gear full throttle as you can see there is some amount of turbo lag but once the turbo spools in this thing literally takes off let me downshift into second but it's not happening the gearbox is not as good as a dct this thing runs on a 6 speed torque converter gearbox which is kind of smooth it is not enthusiastic or sporty as uh, the sonnet 7 speed dct but this thing is smooth you would enjoy this if you are someone who is more into 
smooth and sedate driving but this is not a sporty gearbox but the engine is really 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 very sporty uh, rather than calling it sporty this thing is kind of uh, you know torquey as you can see in manual mode it revs all the way till 5500 rpm it would have been better if uh, the the gearbox is well tuned or they should have given it a dct gearbox apart from that everything in this car is fantastic this thing drives crazy good uh, in real world uh, this performance is more than enough uh, this thing uh, does produce 130 bhp and 250 newton meters of torque this being the turbo gdi this thing produces uh, 20 newton meters more than the normal petrol engine which produced 220 to 230 newton meters this thing does some somewhere around 250 so it is slightly better tuned for better torque but diesel 300 or 3xo produced 300 newton meters initially i thought uh, this wouldn't be as torquey as those cars but this kind of feels on par with them uh, so the torque figure is 250 power is 130 bhp so numbers are kind of good and in real world this thing does perform quite well quite well i am damn sure that you guys will definitely be impressed with the you know uh, the way this car performs this car directly rivals the nexon venue n line and uh, the sonnet gt line uh, sonnet's gearbox is slightly better because that thing comes with a dct but this thing is smooth this gearbox is actually smoother compared to DCT because this is a torque converter. Uh, DCT is kind of jerky, but if you're someone who's uh, more into sporty driving, you would like that. But if you're someone who would love a smooth driving experience, you would definitely love this. And the way this car pulls is really, really, really different. I wouldn't say it is very fast. It is actually fast for, uh, you know, real world conditions. But uh, the way this car goes fast, it is smooth and it is torquey. So the moment you throttle the car and the moment uh, it uh, shifts the gear down, it really pushes you back into the seat and uh, this thing really does some good triple digit speeds. But before reaching those speeds, it really makes you feel uh, that you're going fast. So that is what we want, right? It is now doing 120, but it doesn't feel, uh, you know, stressed out whatsoever. Uh, initially I thought uh, the three cylinder engine might make me feel that it is stressing out or uh, the engine can't take it at times but that is not at all the case it's a 1.2 liter three cylinder engine it feels like an inline four it is so smooth and the insulation is great you can't hear anything from outside to inside but the engine note is so good it is not very loud but it is smooth somehow they manage to make this engine so smooth so smooth that at times you forget that it's a three cylinder and this is the ugliest thing about this car it has the start stop system that is in the interest of fuel economy for sure but uh, i better turn it off so traction turned off again into drive mode now let me launch it in manual mode previously i launched it in uh, automatic mode now we are in zoom mode which is the topmost mode full throttle oh as you can see it does 40 in first 68 in second and uh, i think it will do 90 in third oh it does 110 in third and uh, yeah, it goes all the way till 112 in third gear. So this gearbox kind of holds on to revs, but it could do better. It could even hold till six, six and a half thousand RPM. But the way this car drives is fantastic, man. It is really enthusiastic, the entire car, not specifically the gearbox or specifically the engine, but the entire combination is kind of enthusiastic. And the suspension is kind of fine tuned. It is not very stiff, not very soft. It is perfectly calibrated for Indian roads. And uh, as you can see, it puts a massive smile on your face. The way this drives is really good, really, really, really good. In other driving modes, uh, like in zip and zap, throttle response is kind of mellowed down. But in zoom mode, it is in its full glory and uh, every single time you throttle the car, this thing puts a massive smile on your face. So I can definitely live with this car. This thing does uh, have that comfort of sitting higher to the ground. 
and even have that crazy good performance. So, if you ask me, should you consider buying the Turbo GDI, then I would say definitely yes, because it's got a lot of features, fantastic refinement from the engine, and amazing performance. Performance is really great because this is something you know uh, you wouldn't get bored of. At the same time, this is something you wouldn't uh, get scared of. Both at the same time. Uh, actually, car shouldn't be scary to drive, especially cars like these. You have some other segment of cars. If you want to get scared of driving, then you have some other segment of cars. But these cars are meant to be driven in such a way that you should enjoy them and they should be comfortable all at the same time. This is a perfect combination of all that. And throttle immediate response. There is some amount of turbo lag till 17-1800 rpm but once that turbo spools in this thing flies, this thing really takes off. The braking really good, really good man. Let me test the brakes once again. So full throttle into second. As you can see we can hear the turbo whistle which is again a good thing. Let me test the brakes. I wish the camera won't fall off. Fantastic braking. Fantastic braking. So guys, this is my take on the all new 3XO TGDI. If you ask me, should you consider this car? I would definitely say yes, because this is not a very enthusiastic car or very mellowed down car. This is a kind of a perfect blend of both worlds. So this car will definitely receive a lot of fan base in future uh, because of that uh, calm and composed driving pleasure. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I'll have better motivation to make more videos to entertain you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video real soon. Until then, this is Vikram signing off.